beautiful. Hey guys, we're cleaning up the chicken coop today. <laughs> Say it again, do it again, I dare oh. you. I dare you. <laughs> You'll put it in. I will. <laughs> It's the first snow. We're just kind of hanging out inside and at home because it's snowing. It's not really like a bad snow. It's just been consistently like flurry snow for a couple days. And it's still not cold enough for the snow to stick to the ground. So it's just kind of like half melting, half sticking. But it's still very beautiful. And this morning it was so pretty and this is oliver's first snow <laughs> he just loves it it's so cute sparky's like not as much of a fan of, s of snow he like doesn't like it so we have to put coats on him and but oliver doesn't want to wear a coat and all he wants to do is be outside and play oliver's from uh texas he was a stray dog in texas and he's only like a year old so he's not that old um but you know while he was rambling the streets in Texas he probably didn't have to encounter snow so we're just gonna kind of go walk along the farm field I suppose um see what magical things we find hawk is really calling me. One of my favorite things about winter and November really is everything becomes silent and it is at times unsettling to me because I like that constant like it's like something is always going on but in during this time of year everything becomes really silent or like when I'm out and you know spending time with nature I can hear all of the like messages better you can hear the uh, plants and the trees talking and there's the all the birds, the winter birds are just so precious and you can hear them a lot clearer because there's not as much uh, bird noise and insect noise. I really do enjoy these types of moments. I find that the cold gives a lot more mental clarity um, as long as you're able to like be in it.
My hands get so red trying to film this stuff. <laughs> it's so cold out. All right, I'm getting kind of cold too. So we're gonna go inside and um, finish the painting that I'm making. I'll tell you a little bit about it quick before we get in. I have a series of paintings going right now uh, and they are dedicated to the effigy mounds of North America. Um, I am unaware if there are any effigy mounds in other places in the world. There are a lot of beliefs about what these effigy mounts are and who made them and all of that stuff. It is what it is. And I don't really know who did it, but I know that when I spend time... Oh, it's cute. Get him!
holds. Don't do that. The It's so pretty.